protests here pretty much every day for the past month, but nothing on the scale, nothing on the ferocity of what we saw here today. The British Embassy uh, was attacked, protesters threw uh, petrol bombs at the Embassy, though they missed. Uh, police retaliated with uh, tear gas. We're told uh, that what brought the protesters out in the streets in such numbers was particularly the presence of Tony Blair here and other pro-war leaders. It is a sign also of the pressure that European governments continue to be under as they come to try to reconstruct Iraq. So, John, was this in any way the kiss and make-up summit that people have been hoping for? It was more a peck on the cheek than a passionate embrace, uh, uh, Katie. We're told that the great rivals, Mr. Blair and Mr. Chirac, did meet. They had a friendly conversation, a serious conversation. It seems that the French very reluctantly are going to have to accept that the United Nations are going to have to have a more limited role in post-Saddam uh, Iraq. That seems to pave the way for a deal. Certainly that's what Mr. Blair has been telling us here today. But, you know, it's not all smiles at all. There is real steel here as well because Jack Straw has warned the French tonight, who is meeting, uh, that if they try to block a deal for the United Nations, then the United Nations will simply be sidelined when it comes to Iraq. So it's not all happy families here, Katie. There again, of course, it never is. Indeed. John Ray, thank you very much indeed. Let's have some more of today's other news now. Nine out of ten families are entitled to the, na uh, the new child tax credit, and working tax credit, which began ten days ago. So if you're one of them, has the money come through? Well, for thousands of families, it hasn't, leaving them in a rage and out of pocket. The helplines are jammed too. Caroline Kerr looks at what's gone wrong. We are currently experiencing high call volumes and cannot answer your call at present. Thousands of people who applied for the government's new tax credits will be familiar with this message. Donna Knight says the Inland Revenue has miscalculated her tax credit because they've got her salary wrong. Donna and her family currently have a household income of £26,000 a year. The Inland Revenue has calculated that the family should now get a tax credit worth £42 a month. Donna says that leaves them £60 worse off than they were under the old system but she can't get through to them. Me and my friend had a competition. She pressed redial 131 times, got through on the 132, but that was from nine o'clock in the morning till four o'clock before her call was finally answered. And I got through once a week ago to be told that I'd gone through to the wrong department. They could not put me through and I would have to sit and wait and try and get through again. Critics say the government simply hasn't made it easy enough to claim the tax credit. It's true you have to first fulfil in a 12-page form and you get a 47-page document to explain how to do it. So far, less than 4 million people have applied, even though 90% of families in the UK are eligible. The Inland Revenue has now drafted in an extra 700 staff to man their helplines and ministers say everyone will get their money eventually. It's guaranteed. If people are entitled to the money, they put their application form in, uh, even if it's over the next few months, they haven't done so already, they'll receive their payment in full, backdated. For families struggling with tax credits, the message tonight is persevere and you'll beat the system eventually. Caroline Kerr, ITV News.